Hello, so today's video is going to be us talking about living together for the last three uh, going on four months. Uh, some of our thoughts and also to show some of the very good household appliances that we have. So now we are actually in our, our place, but I mean this is a rented place, so we won't show the entire place too much to respect uh, privacy. Um, but okay, we'll, we'll just show some things that we want to help all new, uh, new couples that are moving out mm. to maybe give you some heads up and tips on how to make your lives a bit easier. But I think overall the transition, the first month is always the toughest. Yeah. Yeah, you start realizing many small things actually you have to take care, checking your letterbox regularly, paying your utility bills, even throwing the trash every day because, you know, rubbish doesn't disappear from your house. Daily, every day, cooking actually is one of the toughest because just uh, preparing the dishes, cooking, it takes up so much time and then after that you have to do the dishes. But fortunately we have a dishwasher which we will show you. Yeah. And then I think the most time consuming housework of the day, well, of the week, yeah. is always laundry. Actually it's cooking than laundry. Yeah, laundry is, uh, cooking cumulatively takes up more time per week than laundry. Yeah. But laundry on its own is a single time, single most time uh, exhaustive uh, activity. Because you first have to gather all the dirty clothes, then you have to put it in a washer, and then we use a dryer to speed up the process a lot. Before that, you also have to hang certain clothes, and once it's done, you have to take them all back, and then you have to hang them nicely and fold them neatly into your cupboard. And we don't have an iron, so yeah. it's ca it can be quite a process. Mm. Um, yeah, but you learn a lot about being independent, and you realize that yeah, our parents have been doing a lot for us. Yeah, but everything in the world, including food, and even chicken in Singapore, is on inflation, and similarly, actually, rental prices, property prices are all going up in Singapore. Yeah, so background, we started the apartment hunt, like rental finding in, I think, November or December last year. So we set this amount of budget for a uh, like one bedroom uh, rental for condos. Lah. And it was very hard to find. Like recently, when I was taking a break from studying, I just went to property guru to see the prices again. Like some of the condos that like my friend used to recommend in Tanah Mara, right? One bedroom condo can go up to 2.9k. I was just like, one bedroom is, is crazy. Yeah, so, so yeah. when we first started searching, Actually, before even before last year November, if you start searching, it would be yeah. a lot cheaper. A yeah. one bedroom usually costs maybe one point eight to one point nine yeah. per month. Yeah, but recently, with ever rocketing prices, it's going up to yeah. eye popping amounts. Yeah. Yep. So you, if you really want to intend to rent, it's important to start looking early, so that. If you get a good deal, you can clinch it. And then, of course, there's a lot of planning and so on. Yeah, but the market now is really bad. Okay, now we'll just show you the place. So first thing, this is a water dispenser. Very important. It saves us a lot of time. We get clean, purified water without even try without even boiling our water. You can even adjust the temperature and the volume. So item number one that made our life better. And this came with the place. Okay, so next in the kitchen, we have at least uh, four items that is a must-have in our opinion. So number one on the list is definitely the dishwasher. Because like I said, cooking actually takes up most of the time doing housework. So this dishwasher really saves us a lot of time. This is a small portable one. So even in a rented place, you can get it, you can put it in. Uh, it's a Toshiba dishwasher. I'm sure you can search online and you can find the exact model number. Yeah, but it can even wash vegetables for you. And there's this function called rapid 29 minutes, minutes wash, which is what we use most of the time. So after eating, we just put everything in here, put in the dishwashing powder and put in the water. And it's a myth about how much water or electricity consumes because it, our, electric, our utility bills are very low. So number one, to save a time washing dishes, you should get that. Number two, probably, is this air fryer. So we just got a very, very simple one. But because of this, I, I would say most of our meals are a lot healthier. 
and when you use meals like uh, instant nuggets, instant seaweed chicken and all that you don't even have to use oil, just have to put it in here and then it air fries it for you it really makes it uh, a lot healthier and faster to cook because you don't even have to wash much, you just cook it the inside you don't have to use oil or this and it's very messy so this is a Mayer air fryer, we probably got this for about $70, $80, this was about $400 this one is about $100. We didn't buy this online, we bought it from NTUC. It's a Tfal multi cooker. So, these things, you know, there's this Ninja multi cooker nowadays. Uh, a lot of these multi cookers. So, the good thing about this is that you can steam rice. You know, you can uh, take this out and then you can put, put the steaming tray in, I think. So no, no, no. <laughs> put the steaming tray inside the rice thing, yes. Okay, yeah, I've not done it. <laughs> Yeah, so you can put it in, you can steam things, and you can even pressure cook your soup, but we, we are not very intense uh, cook, cookers, so we just at most use it to make our chawamushi. Yeah, if you really want, you can make very good soup with this, uh, probably half the time without a pressure cooker. And I would say this is number four, but we didn't buy this, uh, probably you can get a microwave for one, two hundred dollars, you know? Yeah, but it's a must have also because many things you just microwave and heat it up. This is one item we would definitely like to point out. Do you agree? Yeah. This uh, is probably one of our best purchases. So this is a Dyson Omni Glide. It's very very easy to use. It goes in all directions. You go one and there are two rollers spinning both ways. Two modes. It's a small bin and the battery only lasts for around 20 minutes but it's more than good enough for a small house, 2 to 3 room, you know and we even had, the offer even came with a spare battery so it's really very good vacuum even we have a robot vacuum but even with a robot vacuum you need one of these to really help you uh, clear up the other areas that can't be reached for your occasional cleaning here and there and vacuum your car for example we have come to our clothes dryer, one of our favorite appliances as well. So when we first came here, I remember our first two times washing laundry. I saw Hui Min struggling to put up the laundry, uh, and even I, then I tried the second time and it was really hard. And immediately I went on Lazada. I think it was like some one of their usual sales, and I bought this for three hundred fifty dollars. So actually, you can get a clothes dryer for pretty cheap, but uh, as you can tell. Uh, one thing, so you get what you pay for. But this is like a media uh, clothes dryer. It really cheap, but it does the job. And this washer came with our, our place, and then once we wash, we throw it immediately inside here to dry, and we can even start washing a second load while this is drying. So it really speeds up the process of washing a lot and makes it a lot uh, less of a struggle to try to hang our clothes every single time. Um, Again, another myth that it consumes a lot of electricity. I think it probably does, but honestly, we only wash our clothes once a week. If there's only two of you living in the house, you shouldn't have to wash more than that. And when we combine our huge load, wash it at once, four times a month, our electric, electric bills are really still very low. So we strongly recommend this. This is the last item that we want to share. This is a D-Bot T9 Plus, if I'm not wrong. And it's actually the most expensive appliance we bought for a new place. Cost about 800 I think. Or slightly less than 800, 750. Yeah. But the good thing about this is that it both vacuums and it mops. And uh, it has some high-tech LiDAR navigation system which clearly we're not very impressed with. A normal one works just fine. But the auto MD thing is what I wanted because uh, this bin it says that you have to empty it once a month, but in our use, we only empty it once every three months. So every time, you know, the problem with a robot vacuum is that after it vacuums, you have to empty the bin, if not, it'll be full and so on. But with this one, it empties for you, and you only have to empty this bin once every three months. The thing that we have to do is just fill the water here every three days in the tank. Yeah, and then maybe the mopping pad change once a month. Yeah, we don't really follow everything the manufacturer says because uh, you know part of it is probably just them trying to get you to buy more of their products. 
and uh, I think the good thing about this is that you can schedule it so we clean our house 135 and then uh, because it does clean most of the areas that we use like a living area, dining area and our room we only have to vacuum the the and sweep the balcony and the kitchen very occasionally it saves us a lot of time and we only use our Dyson for occasional deep cleaning or to clean up the areas that are missed so it makes our cleaning work a lot less and we hardly ever mop because this really does most of the mopping. So with that, I think we have shared a total of eight devices yeah, that we have used and strongly recommend to help you if you are moving to a new place and living at home. We'll see you at the next vlog.